Welcome to the Panda of Pandemonium TV, Pop TV for short. Again, the one and only Panda of Pandemonium here with another episode of Anime Reviews. Uh, today, we are going to be reviewing Yawamushi Petal and its um, its other seasons. It's got a couple other ones. Uh, the second season that comes out is Yamushi Petal Rewrite, I believe, and then uh, New Generation. Correction, take that back. Nope, it's just Yamushi Petal Season 1 and 2, and then New Generation. I apologize for that. That is correct. Um, so, yeah, Yamushi Petal is, uh, I think, is a great anime. Um, we're going to definitely put it on the Pandemora just so we can see exactly what they're talking about, uh, what it's really going to be about. But in this particular situation, I think that it's best to dive in. So, of course, uh, as always, we have our stats pages just so you can kind of see a little bit of information about the anime itself, about the manga, dates it was produced, things of that nature. We won't sit too long on that uh, as we go right into our explanations of the show. This one here is another one that I feel is a great, uh, it has a great message, a uh, message of positivity, a message of learning to overcome in the, uh, in the midst of overwhelming odds. And that's what most, unfortunately, uh, most sports anime are like that. Now I will admit that. However, this one, uh, there's a few, this one in particular is, uh, kind of close to, uh, close to my heart, the the ability of the writers and the authors to draw you into uh, the Sohoku track team uh, is uh, not track team, well bicycle team is amazing. Uh, the main character, Anoda Sakamichi, okay, Anoda is a freshman at Sohoku Public High, and uh, his his dream, the only thing this man wants to do, is enjoy. A nice, calm club life in high school, full of anime geeks and nerds. Sounds like the wilds of pandemonium. You know, we just, we just want to sit back, kick back, enjoy a nice, peaceful debate about anime. And that was what he wanted. That's all he wanted in high, in middle school. He he felt like he he shunned who he was. Um, which is, you know, never a good thing. You know, shunning who you are is never good. I had a couple of posts about that earlier. And we'll always, always talk about that. Uh, be who you are, all of who you are. And so he felt like he wasn't able to do that. So he was hoping that by coming to high school, he would finally be able to accomplish this. Um, yeah, that unfortunately was not in the cards for our man Anoda. He Sakamichi got hit hard. Like day one, they walked in and was like, Yep, no, no anime club. We don't like y'all. And he's not a sports person. And I mean as someone who in high school had to deal with, you know, not being accepted for who you really are, I understand this man quite well. And I think a lot of us do. Uh, you know, we, we just wanna kick back, relax, chill, talk about anime. Talk about nerdy, geeky stuff. And everybody else is trying to shove sports down your throat. And that's, that's basically what happened to this guy. Well, anyway, in the process of him trying to become this new person, he uh, ends up running into uh, Imaizumi uh, Shunsuke. Shunsuke, uh, we call him Imaizumi. That's what they, they really use him in the show. So uh, they talk to Imaizumi, and he, he literally almost runs it. Well, opposite way around. Imaizumi literally runs into him. Um, originally, um, he, he might as well he's, he's hot headed, he's arrogant, he, he thinks he's all that a bag of chips and some hot sauce on the side. And he comes in and he, he tries to, you know, oh, this, this guy, Noda, he, he's, he's just this four eyed little pipsqueak, you know, you have nothing, no, no challenge to me. What, what, what are you, who are you, you know? Uh, Noda, Noda's just easy, he's eager and easy to make friends with. And so he comes in, he's like, hey, Yo, you want to be on the anime club? And he's like, eh, no, screw you. I, I don't want anything to do with that. However, there's a bit of aggravation that builds. 
uh, Imazumi, he has a he has a moment where he's like, wait a minute, how is this dude able to on a, what they call a mommy bike, which is just a basic you know bike with a basket, no no racing spoilers or spokes, no extra gears, none of that. He's able to ride to Akibahara, which is like they said, about 45 minutes away by car. This dude is doing this daily, daily. The amount of muscle, lean muscle this man has in his legs, Noda has, from making this trek back and forth every other day, every day. He's like, okay, there's got to be something to it. There's got to be something to this to this dude's power. So, uh, eventually, eventually they you know they go into a little bit of a race, and uh, one thing leads to another. Next thing you know, Noda's on the team. So, I'm not gonna get too deep into that because, of course, you know that's just the 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 start of this beautiful storyline um there are like i said three distinct seasons uh the first two are literally the main story and then the set the the second set of um storyline is the new generation that's the third season uh that one <sighs> We'll talk about it a little bit. I, I don't think it, it hit as hard as the first two seasons, as the first initial storyline goes. Um, but, you know, within the context of what we're looking at, uh, one thing that echoes throughout the Wilds of Pandemonium is that everything you do should be a learning experience, even when you're having fun. And the inspirational and heartwarming lessons that go through here um, are they're they're touching they're they're wholesome it's it's great um anybody can pick up uh get a little boost of energy and a little boost of uh confidence when when watching this show um but i digress you know let's go ahead and jump into the pandemora this one's going to be short and sweet to the point um the pandemora for some of you all you may or may not know is our score our method of scoring our anime Okay, our method of scoring, and with this one, uh, we we're gonna start with our art style. As always, we're gonna start with our art style. Um, it's a seven point five. I give it a seven point five, and the reason why I give it a seven point five is because they mix a lot of cartoonish antics with a lot of like really serious race stuff, um, and some, some little highlight reels, but nothing really. Uh, really set back as knee slapping, you know, funny, tear jerking, funny. Uh, the rest of it, though, the sports, the drama, the shonen aspects of it, they hit with flying colors. And I give all of those, all of those a nine from from showing uh, the seriousness of the sport. Um, I think that that was really, really amazing thing. So we're definitely going to give it a nine uh, on the genre scale there. OK. Um, overall, though, between the the other three, the sports, drama, and shonen, and the comedy, a five and three nines, it comes it comes down to a rank of an eight. So, great. It would have been better if they upped the comedy scale a little bit, I think. But then again, it probably would have took away from the story itself. So, just keep that in mind when you're watching through. Definitely got some little funny moments, little quirky moments. Uh, but, yeah. Definitely, uh, overall, as far as the sport itself, and that's what I'm judging this on, the sport itself of cycling, they did a great job of bringing that to life in this in this particular show. Stat, next up, we've got our characters. Now, for our character, I'm going to give them a solid eight. A solid eight. And the reason is, it shows them, shows them training. It shows them, you know, everything that they do as they're going through like for example like this right here is one of the races and you you release one of those we're going to give an eight and you'll see that when the screen switches back over here really quickly but the reason why is because explaining that process of individually becoming strong uh that they mean so much when you really put them and pertain to real life situations they can mean so much to a person and that sort of thing is is something that you have to you have to look at really with this one, um, you have to also understand that they showed the setbacks. They didn't just show, oh, we're going to win, we're going to win, we're going to win, we're going to win. No. Y'all messed up. Um, it's a fairly simple plot. Their goal was to win in or high. Simple and, simple and pure. So, you know, a lot of the show is, is about that. It's around that singular goal. And also, it's about Anoda making friends. 
Um, again, like I said, he came in wanting to be uh, in an anime club and not liking sports teams, and yet here we are. He's on a cycling team, which is one of the bigger sports teams uh, in the in in their in their school. So you know, I give it a seven. Solid solid plot line, solid storyline. Definitely did a great job of executing of that. Um, so we'll give that we'll give that a seven. And then on the setting side of it, I think they did a remarkable job of keeping up with the the territory and the terrains. Um, overall, we're going to go ahead and give them an eight right here. But some of the scenery, for example, like here, I want you guys to see this is just from the intro. Um, these scenes, I personally, I didn't pick in too closely to see, hey, were they looping certain things here or anything like that? So I didn't really dive deep into that um, as far as my my searching. Otherwise, if that was the case, if there was something that was remarkably, I would have definitely gave it a 9, 10. Uh, something remarkably stand out about each track. But for the most part, there were enough nuanced things that, that caused differences. And that I think that was, uh, that was great. So, yeah, we're going to go with an 8 for that. Now, this pains me. It pains me. But on the dub quality, I got to give them a 0. I got to give them a 0. And the reason is... There's no dub. There's no dub, at least on the four sites that we use, you know, that we use here. There is no dub for Yamusha Pedal on any in any of the seasons. And that that hurts. I feel that everybody has the should have the ability to enjoy um, enjoy a uh, a medium of their choice. You know, whether it's sub, dub or manga, they should be able to enjoy that as of right now, uh, you know. They don't have that for the dub. So I apologize to everybody for that. Maybe, you know what? If I get 400 likes, I'll go ahead and do a voiceover uh, dub for one of the episodes for Young Wishy Pedal. I'll pick a random one or you all can pick one for me. And uh, if I get 400 likes on this, then we'll go from there. But yeah, we'll go over to a zero for the dub quality. Now, regarding our story progression um, and our fillers. Again, as I say to everybody, there are no such thing as a filler episode most of the time. Every now and again, yes, you just you just have certain shows that have filler episodes for no reason. This is not one of those. Every episode has something to do with a growth point for a character. And that's the reason why, again, when we talked about characters and character development, it was an eight before uh, because of that that particular reason itself. So I'm going to give it a nine overall for our story progression and our fillers uh one for the lack thereof regarding the fillers but also because they really allow you to see the teamwork and to rectify and to change themselves to become better not just for themselves but for the team and that is something that in and of itself is something that takes time to realize and that's something that people don't always realize so this right here this this story is a it's a roller coaster <laughs> it's a it's a bike race it's it's a mountain crawl it's a it's a it's a, it's a hard heartfelt storyline and it's amazing how so i don't know you know i don't know what everybody else feels about that but but yeah i, I feel that's how kind of how i feel about it so next we're going to go into our opening and ending credits now with this one there is a whole 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 lot of music on this show um all of it and i do mean all of it i grant a an overall nine they did an amazing job. Honestly, I probably should have gave it a 10, but we're going to leave it at the 9 just because I don't feel like going back and changing everything. But yeah, they did an amazing job. And I want you guys to look. They have at least three opening intros and outros for the first season. Uh, they turned around and then did two more intros and outros for the second season. And then did another two intros and outros for the third season. These... The music that they put here, outstanding, just outstanding. The artists that they chose were great. Uh, like I said, we're gonna put that at a nine too. The artists they chose were great. Um, the music, the the song score that they chose was awesome. It fit perfectly with the show, with the vibe, with the atmosphere of that segment of episodes. Um, 
Rookies is punked is an amazing group in in general. Uh, I love them; they're great. So just kind of keep you know keep these types of things in mind when you're looking at shows. You know what I'm saying? What what's the feel? What's the vibe? What's what does it do? Does it impart anything new or different or add to the storyline that you're already watching? Like when you come off of the, off a high from a show and then it goes into a really bad song for the, this. It's not that it's a bad song, but it's a bad matchup for what you just watched. It it throws off the vibe it throws off the rhythm so they did a great job keeping that all in line here with this one finally finally locations found and unfortunately we've got to give it a 2.5 because as of right now we can only find it on vrv country roll only on crunchy roll so um, hopefully they can pick it up on some other some other places so some other people can watch it. But as of right now, they are only visible. It is only visible on Crunchyroll. So, telling everything up, total score, we have a low, low, low 6.7. 6.7. However, please do not let this be indicative of the show itself. Like, you definitely should partake in this road racing revelry that is Yamushi Pedal. It is great. And remember, two of those categories, we, we scored a 0 and a 2.5. You know, 2.5 was on location. 0 is on the fact that they had no dub to even score. So that dropped it tremendously. If we take those two scores out, you're looking at an 8.1 anime. 8, 8.1 anime. Okay? Out of 10. So keep it. Keep that in mind. Please, 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 please keep that in mind. All right, everybody. Well, again, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is, of course, Pop the Pandal of Pandemonium. We're just here. We're going to go ahead and close out for the day. Uh, don't forget, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell to get the notifications. Uh, all of our information is down below for our Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon. Feel free to grab us and find us on the on those platforms as well. Uh, also, there's a Facebook group. I will add that here today. We just recently started the Facebook group and Facebook page, uh, so I'll get those added to the information below. Uh, but yeah, come join us in the Wilds of Pandemonium. Also, Twitch streaming Monday 9 to 11 Valhalla Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're in there with Ivor getting our barbaric barbaric uh, acts of violence on while we talk about all kinds of nerdy goodness, and then also. So on Wednesday, we're still finishing and going through uh, One Piece Pirate Warrior 4. I think we are in the middle of the Alabasta arc, actually towards the end, where we're about to fight Crocodile. So jump in, grab that. I have a few more videos dropping this week also from some stream stuff that we did a week ago. I've got some extra little clips and things from what I was talking about that I want to add in to make this a little more fun. So you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me in the Wilds of Pandemonium. And this is Pop signing off.